Hi, I'm Crazy Blocks, and I'm going to show you how to convert your old maps to the latest format for Floodscape 2 Community Maps. Make sure you've got your map selected and click this plugin button here, which is linked. Uh, so just click it and it will convert it all to the latest format. Uh, so some things will have changed, that's how Floodscape 2 recognizes maps now. Uh, make sure you keep a backup of your old maps in case anything goes wrong with this. It shouldn't, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. Um, we've got event script here, and what we need to do is figure out how to get this into timelines. Now, uh, the converter's already converted uh, a bunch of legacy um, button functions such as appear, fade, fall, sound, and delay. Um, so you can look at those after you've converted and got comfortable with the timeline system. But for now, we just want to focus on converting the event script functionality. So we've got timeline here, and we're going to make this one the timeline for messing with the flood. So we're going to need to make it so we apply it to the water so it knows what it's doing. And we're going to want to set that to 60 seconds, set the function name to set water state. And we're going to need to apply a state attribute and call it acid so that it does the same things here. That's brilliant, okay. And then we need to do that again, but later. Um, so we need to make this 75 seconds because we need to add 16, 15 together. X frames execute separately from uh, event script, so it doesn't go in a linear fashion. So what, we need to make it 75 seconds to make it accurate. Um, so that is the changing to lava. And then what we need to do is convert this move water function into move part whilst preserving everything. So we're going to need to get rid of all of these things which don't belong here and make it move part. It'll have to be at 78 seconds because the extra free and set it for 10 seconds. And then we need to add the vector free for translation. That's absolutely fine. We'll set that to 30. And it's already set for 10 seconds. What we next need to do is uh, make it use the local space due to it being set to true here. And now, if you want to preserve the functionality of move water versus move part, uh, you will need to make easing style and easing direction as well. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, to behave as move water used to. So easing direction, we can set that to out. Uh, for the easing style, it doesn't really matter, but we would want to set that to linear. And now you have converted your map into the latest format for Floodscape 2. Um, I would suggest you check the documentation in the latest map making kit. It's got all the functions included in there and how it works. Um, thanks for watching, I, I hope this helps.